Hey everybody, what is going on? Today I'm going to be showing you how you can do an aiming dead zone effect in Unity 5.4 or pretty much any uh, version of Unity. Um, all you're going to need to do is get this simple asset, this script right here. It's in the standard assets for Unity. It is the simple mouse rotator script and it can really give you this amazing effect with your weapons that uh, make it seem a lot more realistic. So I'm going to go ahead and just show you what the game looks like without the script enabled. Uh, just so you can get an idea of just weapon movement. So if I move around, you know, it looks pretty good. Um, aiming is solid. Everything looks nice. Um, nothing wrong with this. It does look good. But um, now I'm going to go ahead and just enable my aiming dead zone script. And um, if I go ahead and hop in here, then uh, you can see that the gun moves around more. It is a lot more fluid with the motions. The animations look cleaner. And um, overall, it's just a really nice effect to have in your game. Uh, it's super simple too, so I'm gonna go ahead and pretty much show you how. You, I'm gonna show you guys how to do it. Excuse me. Um, there is one downfall to it though, with uh, the way that I do it, and that is just because whenever you fire a gun in my game, pretty much the bullet comes out of the center of the screen, not out of the weapon itself. So um, it, the accuracy is slightly off, but um, the way that I've done it, it is still amazingly accurate. So um, let's go and get into it. Pretty much you're going to go to your um, wherever your weapons folder is, you're going to find the weapon you want to do it for. You have to do it for each weapon individually, sadly, but um, it's definitely worth the um, it's worth the work and effort to uh, get it done. So what you're going to do is you're going to choose your weapon, so here's mine, and um, you're going to have all these uh, things, all your little weapon pieces, and so pretty much these are all going to be inside this main folder here, and so what you're going to do is you're just going to create an empty object on the um, thing, on the weapon, and so whenever you do that you can name it to whatever you want, I'll just call it dead zone, you don't have to name it anything, and then what you're going to do is you're going to go into your scene, and you're going to want to move this, uh, my preference is to move it right um, on the back iron side of your weapon, it seems to give the best results. Um, I've tried multiple different things. I've moved it to the front, the back, the stock, um, the trigger, but um, overall I found that just centering it on the back iron seat offers the greatest effect and the most accuracy. So if, uh, let's just go ahead and zoom in here. So we're almost centered there and a little bit further down. Again, this doesn't have to be perfect. Um, you can, you know, you don't have to do it on the back iron seat. Whatever works for you, just experiment with it and uh, see what you can get. So then you're going to move all your other files from um, the sub, from this folder here into the dead zone folder. And on the dead zone folder, you're going to add a. You're going to search up rotate, rotator, and uh, simple mouse rotator. So these are the stock effects, or these not stock effects, but these stock settings. And um, I'll have a link that. I'll have a link to download this script in the description uh, if you don't have it already. So pretty much mine, I do 3 and 3 and then you're going to want to have these at 1 and 0 0.1. Also go ahead and disable this and so this is exactly how I have it for all my weapons and um, looks good and um, you can experiment with different things depending on what you want to do so I'll go ahead and just turn this up to 15 and 15 per se. And uh, it really just depends on if the web, if the bullets come out of your weapon or if they come out of the center of your screen, um, how you want to do the effect. For me, I pretty much have to do three and three because otherwise I have terrible inaccuracy. So if I aim at this wall, you see how it comes out of the middle of the screen instead of out of the gun itself. But um, I mean this still looks really good if you have it so that it comes out of your gun. I definitely recommend trying out different you know, uh, settings, and you can get a really awesome effect with this. It's a really easy thing to do, and if you guys enjoyed this video or want any more tutorials, just make sure that you can comment down below. This was requested um, on the Unity 3, the subreddit um, on one of my posts, and I'll be sure to keep you guys updated on this game. Uh, right now, it's just my test map. I'm currently having somebody model a uh, ass. Uh, yeah, I'm having somebody bottle an asset of a cargo ship so that I can get another map going. And so hopefully next time I show you guys a post, it'll be on there. Any other tutorials, just comment down below. I hope this helped you guys a lot. 
and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks.